Hello friends, in this video we will see how to create this double slider crank mechanism animation in SOLIDWORKS. So let us see how to do it in SOLIDWORKS. We will design each part of this mechanism. So let us start. Go to file, new, part, ok. So here we'll first design the slotted plate for this mechanism select the top plane sketch on it draw a center rectangle over here and we'll give the dimension to this to be 100 by 100 mm okay now we will exit the sketch and we will extrude it by 30 mm so go to go to feature and extrude it by 30 mm okay so after that we will create a slot on this plate we will select this front this top face and sketch on it make it normal too now again we will select a center rectangle over here we will draw two center rectangles okay will give this gap will be 10 mm and this will also be 10 mm okay now we will trim the unwanted entities over here Okay, now we'll simply exit the sketch and go to the feature. So in feature you can see extruded cut over here. So we'll remove the material from this and we'll keep the depth of cut 12 mm. Simply say okay. So from here 12 mm depth material is removed. Now we'll go to chamfer the edges of this slotted blade. So simply select one edge and give the chamfer of 3 mm select one by one each edges over here ok so here again we will edit the feature feature because this edge is not created select this also ok so in this way chamfer is applied so our slotted plate is ready control save this so we'll, I'll be making a new folder to save this so make a folder over here I'll be making a fo folder of slider crank So simply open this folder slider crank and we'll save the this part by name slotted plate saving it now we will go to design of next part so we'll design the slider for this mechanism so sorry i am in the assembly work environment simply cancel this go to file close this also go to file new select the part ok now select the top plane and sketch on it draw a center rectangle over here will give smart dimension to this of 10 by 10 mm and we will be extruding this sketch by 12 mm so we'll be extruding it up to 12 mm okay again i'll be drawing a sketch on this face so simply sketch on it draw a circle over here okay smart dimension this circle to be a 5 mm okay and go to feature extruded box base so we'll extrude it by again 5 mm say okay 
now we will save this part by name control save so we'll save it by name a slider s l i d e r okay now we'll go to the next part new asset sorry part okay now over here again we'll select the top plane sketch on it we'll draw link for this mechanism select the center point straight slot draw over here okay now we will give the smart dimension to this and this will be 150 mm okay after that this and this to be 12 mm okay okay we'll draw simply once two circle over here okay smart dimension them distance between them to be a 50 okay and we will give diameter of this to be 5 and for this also 5 okay now go to feature and select over here extruded ball base so we will extrude this by a 5 mm say okay now we will save this part so control save this as by name link ok save so we have designed all the parts for this mechanism now we will go to file new and select the assembly from here so we will do the assembly now so simply go to the browse feature and select all these three open simply click over here here okay so here we will require the two slider so simply control and select this so here you can see a copy of the slider is created now here this link is fixed now so make it float and this I want to be a fix so we'll go for the mate over here you simply select the mate and in the mate we'll be going for the advanced mate in that we'll be going for the width mate over here so in the width mate we'll select this face and this face and for this tab we will select this face and this face so this is what a width mate okay now again we'll do a width mate over here select this face and this face and we'll select this face and this face okay okay now we'll move it little closer okay now we'll go to mate again this time i will select this bottom face and bottom of this and we'll giving a distance mate of 0.1 mm because the slider is sliding on this gap so we'll keep a gap of 0.1 mm in order to avoid the friction between slotted plate and slider okay so similarly we will do for the second slider over here select this and this will be giving a 0.1 mm gap again okay so after that we'll just move this a little inside now select this inner face and this face making the concentric relation okay select this face and this face making the concentric relation okay again we'll select this face and this face 
so here we will again give the distance mate over here we will keep a 0.1 mm gap between them okay so here all the mates are ready over here now so okay now we will simply move this in this way you can see how the mechanism will work okay so we'll give some appearances so simply select the appearances and select this one okay select the appearances select this link for this link we'll give the color this one okay again select the appearances and the remaining is to slider so we'll select the slider over here you can see slider okay so we'll give this color now we'll go for the motion study now so we are in the motion study now so over here we'll select a basic motion from the motion study selecting the basic motion we'll select the contacts over here so simply we'll select slotted plate and slider so there will be the contact between this and we'll select this second so this slotted plate and this second slider okay again we'll select the contact to be there between this this sorry tear section select this and this slider and this slider so there will be the three contacts okay so these are the contact groups now we'll apply the motor to this we'll give the rpm to this to be a 15 rpm okay and we'll increase the playback time to 12 seconds and we'll simply click on calculate over here so okay now it will start calculating now you can see after calculation there will be a smooth motion so play back it again so play from the start so here you can see the double slider crank mechanism this type of mechanism is useful for drawing the ellipse so this link is creating the ellipse motion plot if you want to see how this link will create an ellipse by using the motion plot in motion analysis in SOLIDWORKS you can watch one of my video so the link is provided in description so thank you for watching